Hands up anybody who's gone out on a shoot, taken the first 10, 15 frames, thought they're gonna be fantastic. Check the back of the camera and gone, oh, they're all blue or they're all out of focus. Well, here's what you do to prevent that happening. You zero out your camera. Now we've all done it, I know I have several times, and besides being slightly embarrassing and making you look a bit dim, it can even lead to you actually missing potentially important and unrepeatable shots, or maybe capturing them, but only as a low-res JPEG. As zeroing out means getting in the habit of returning your camera to neutral settings each time you stop shooting. Now exactly what you deem to be neutral will vary from person to person, but make sure you check the exposure mode, the image quality and size, the release mode, particularly if you've been shooting with something like a self-timer, the ISO, the white balance, the focus mode, the flash mode, exposure compensation, and the live view settings. Now this might sound like quite a long list, but of course, most of the time you won't have changed all these settings, and all you need to do is just glance at the dial in question to make sure it's where it should be. I almost never change my quality from RAW, for example, so I tend to only have a glance at that. Now, of course, there is no one setting you can leave your camera on that means it will definitely handle the next situation you go out and shoot without any changes or be perfect for that situation. But if you develop a consistent habit, you always know where you're starting from. Well, that was good to know, wasn't it? If you want more of that sort of information about basic equipment and the fundamentals of studio photography, there's a playlist up here or you can go to photosmodger.teachable.com for a full online course in the like, or my blog at photosmodger.com, which has lots of in-depth blog posts about creativity and the business of photography. Help yourselves.